like to call the meeting to order. I know some of y'all are still meeting. Continue. Please continue. Um, we got a full program for this afternoon. Speak up a little bit. Okay. Let me turn that up. How's that work? Okay. Uh, we have a uh, full program. <laughs> So we're not going to be accepting uh, public uh, regards, uh, but to address that, we have yellow notepad, and if you would like to leave personal message or regards for Arthur and Charlene, that is your opportunity, that's your format, and I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, my name is Bruce Luna, I'm chairman of the board for the uh, Swing First United Methodist Church. As far as the Courage Brother, yes, I've got that. But I didn't do too well with the do not stumble part. Yeah. It was uh, February or March when Arthur confided to me that he would need to uh, resign his appointment and retire this June. And a lot of thoughts just flashed over my mind on receiving that information. But what really got my attention is uh, recalling my retirement. I was an officer in the Air Force, signed to Washington, D.C. Got to attend many of the uh, retirements up there where they had planes fly over the ceremony. They had cannons firing. They had changes of the flags. I didn't have any of that. Uh, but I did get uh, orders from the president uh, removing me from active duty and placing me on retired road. My wife, Vicki, got a proclamation from the Secretary of the Air Force. Uh, I got a nice letter from the uh, Chief of Staff of the Air Force. The uh, ceremony was presided by the Deputy Chief of Staff of the Klan, two-star general. And uh, then uh, I got the Crummy Squadron patch uh, and a, a nice large frame picture with a huge mask that everyone signed. And uh, so I asked Arthur, and he's already retired a couple of times, uh, what kind of ceremony did they have for you? Well, not much. Uh, did you get anything from the big church, the big Methodist church? No. Anything from the bishop? No. What about the district superintendent? No, you know, it just wasn't a big deal. Well, uh, I wasn't going to let that happen. I'm going to make a big deal of this, even by swinging standards. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to recognize the uh, co-conspirators. Uh, typically, I have Marty last, but I'm going to have Marty first this time. She is our office administrator, and she's the one that runs the church, yeah. despite what Arthur may say. <laughs> And if we're doing anything at the church, you know, the Van Avery is going to be involved. Yeah. Jerry, Jerry, thank you for your help. <laughs> and I have just recently uh, met Mary Coulter, and uh, I get tired just looking at all the work she does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, I'd like to recognize the uh, cook crew this morning. It was all the Coulters were back there. And I had some assistance from Big John, Johnny Englehart. Thank you guys. Appreciate you know, all of you. Guys. Uh, I'd like this time to recognize some gifts. I'm going to start out with the High Life Reverend Quinn Peters. Uh, this is the last time I've recognized you as a guest. Next Sunday, you're working. <laughs> and uh, with Quinn is his lovely fiance. He also highlights Reverend Amy Hochul. And we're pleased to have <laughs> Quinn's parents with us, Amber and Scott. Oh, excuse me. I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> Kenneth and Aaron. Thank you. 
When we received uh, Arthur as our pastor, it was a package deal. And uh, with that, we got Miss Charlene. Now I can recognize their two greatest blessings, and that would be their children, Scott Richardson and Amber Simpson. Thank you. We do have some other guests uh, I'd like to recognize. Uh, I hope I don't get struck by lightning. We have a couple Baptists here. <laughs> John and Lisa Price, uh, they recently retired from the uh, first Baptist church. Very close to church. You're always welcome here. Uh, and also, uh, we have a ceremony this morning. Uh, you'll hear more about it a little bit later on. But I would like to recognize uh, Ms. Tansy Compton, the <laughs> committee chairman for PAC 960. <laughs> All right, this is not a military retirement, but in a military retirement, this is where the uh, commanding officer of the building the career highlights of the individual. Uh, but again, this is not a military, we're not going to do that. So I'm not going to talk about Arthur being born in the South. <laughs> Literally, figuratively, that would be South Dakota. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't talk about him graduating from Yankton, and I certainly wouldn't talk about the year in which he graduated. I wouldn't talk about how he started out his early career in radio broadcasting. And what was unique about that, I don't know whether the word is replaced or succeeded, but he followed Tom Brokaw, not once, but twice. Also, I wouldn't talk about his appointments as pastor in the South Dakota Annual Conference, of which he served in the three largest congregations. And I guess uh, I really don't have time to go through all the education, but he started out at Westland uh, in Nebraska, last to Westland, then I see uh, Oklahoma City, and then finally got a doctorate of religion at Claremont. But he wasn't really finished with education. He goes out to Westmar, that's in Iowa, where he was president. He then had uh, significant positions at Boston University, that would be in Massachusetts. <laughs> he then went to Cambridge, uh, that would be in Great Britain. And then finally ended up in Tianjin, and that's how you pronounce it, and that would be in China. One of his uh, last working assignments, uh, he started a uh, consulting uh, group in uh, Oklahoma City, and that's where uh, it came into my heart's appeal. And I know they were arguing about what kind of title he would have. Uh, his card says, uh, let me get it here, Chairman Emeritus. Uh, I think of that as really Grand Poobah Emeritus. <laughs> All right, I was fortunate to uh, work quite closely with Arthur. Uh, I called him every Thursday on his day off. Uh, but many times uh, we got to work with uh, some external groups, and I can think of three specific times when he expressed his love and appreciation for being here in Sweeney and serving us in the person of his church. So I would like to now take this opportunity to reciprocate in that regard. And uh, let's see who I want to start. Oh, yeah. I got my pages here somewhere. Miss Sherry, Van Avria, would you please come forward? Church, family, friends, and community come together to celebrate the service and sacrifice 
of this outstanding religious service. We commend him for his steadfast Christian leadership over the years. Whereas in his early years, Arthur Richardson worked as announcer in radio broadcasting, replacing Tom Brokaw, radio announcer, twice from 1960 to 1965. Later, he wrote and directed his own weekly television program, Joy in the Morning, on NBC. All while study, studying and receiving his MBA in international business and finance at Oklahoma City University with high honors, and his doctorate in Old Testament from Southern California School of Theology. He's done additional graduate study at Cambridge University in England, Boston University, and at Taijin University in Finance and Economics in China. Whereas Arthur received his doctorate in 1971 from Claremont School of Theology and began his life of service as co-pastor with Brookings UMC of South Dakota. Whereas he was appointed over time to each of the three largest United Methodist congregations in South Dakota annual conference, as well as smaller churches. Whereas Dr. Richardson accepted a position at Westmar University and became Iowa's youngest of 30 university presidents. He served in that role for nine years, leading a turnaround of the troubled institution that eliminated both short and long-term debt of $6 million, doubled the enrollment, and established a multi-million dollar endowment. Sure we can't keep you for a little while longer? <laughs> Whereas upon leaving Westmar University, Richardson established his own speaking and consulting practice, IBMI, Inc., International Business Management Institute, and traveled around the world as a professional speaker, consultant, instructor, and board member of numerous international companies. He has traveled extensively in Asia and spoken in 12 countries. He's been interviewed by Newsweek, The Wall Street Journal, Reuters News Service, and National Public. Whereas in 2012, Arthur became involved and is currently still on the board of the volunteer administrative staff helping with grants for My Heart's Appeal in Liberia, West Africa, whose mission statement is to facilitate facilitate the establishment of quality training and employment for teenage and adult persons with intellectual disabilities. Under Arthur's guidance, Sweeney at UMC helped fund the Liberty Garden and purchased additional land for orchards. Whereas Arthur once again came out of retirement in 2018 to act as temporary pastor to fulfill God's calling and stayed in Sweeney to the present to retire once again. In his tenure at Sweeney at UMC, Arthur's been involved in the Pastoral Alliance, Sweeney ISD, and numerous, numerous community outreach projects. Whereas this dynamic and humble man has demonstrated excellence in his calling as a man of God, the members of Sweeney United Methodist Church body extended him, Charlene, his wife of 50 years, and beautiful family, Scott, Kelly, and Amber and Ben, their sincerest love and appreciation. They're proud to call him their pastor, leader, and friend. And join citizens throughout Missouri County and beyond in thanking him for all that he's done. We wish him joy and happiness, spending more time with their grandchildren in their new home in Virginia. Whereas we will always remember Arthur and his two favorite quotes. <clears throat> the problem with communication is the illusion that's been accomplished by T.B. Shaw. And if the door is shut in your face, either knock it down or walk away. Don't waste a lifetime peeking through the keyhole. <laughs> now, therefore, I, Jeff Farley, Mayor of the City of Sweeney, Texas, do hereby proclaim June 27, 2021, as Dr. Arthur Richardson Day in the City of Sweeney, Texas, and urge your risen, our residents, our residents. <laughs> to follow me in his observation and recognize and congratulate his accomplishments and faithfulness in his ministry to the Christian faith.
um, and he sent this for him. Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Dr. Arthur Richardson in recognition of your support as a member of Sweeney ISD Ministerial Advisory Council, Dr. Tori Hill. And they do have this alliance, Minister's Alliance, sponsored by the school. And I know you'll want to get involved in that. Thank you. Next, we have Ms. Cassie Coulson, the committee chair for Pat 560. I'm kind of jealous. I didn't get any flags when I am in charge. <laughs> but those were flown over the Family Life Center, and they had a very nice uh, retiring of the colors this morning, and uh, hope you do it well. Thank you. All right, Mary. Well, kind of in the background, as a church family, we have uh, put together a little gift to give Arthur and Charlene. And you can use this to go have fun. To buy new stuff for your new house, um, pay for your trip over there, or, or whatever. I'll give you cards to you in a minute. But I also want to bring to your attention over here on the right, we have a display for My Heart's Appeal, and we have a love offering basket over there. So anything that is put in that basket, we will be sending that in in honor of Arthur and Charlene today. So thank you very much. I mentioned earlier when you retired from the military, you did a crummy squadron patch and a nice picture with a huge frame with everybody's signs on it. And that's what I plan to do this time. But Jerry, no, 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 they're, they're going to be downsizing. We, 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 we don't want to bother them. 
Well, I listen to Jerry a little bit. Uh, I do have a picture, and uh, I'll be presenting it here shortly. But you know, all those little yellow sheets that I was talking about, instead of having a big frame where everybody writes on it, why don't you comment on the yellow muck pad, and we're going to stick it on the back of the picture. So, Arthur, I can't move, but if you could come up. Thank you is one of the most common uh, ways that we show our appreciation back and forth. It is uh, in a term of endearment, it is a term of, uh, of commitment and confirmation of the relationship. And it uh, became a task for me to learn to say thank you in many languages because it seems to be one of those few but unifying factors around the world. Say Shishé, Danke schön, and to Merci beaucoup. So many different ways to, to say such a simple thing that means so very much. My brother uh, told me that he uh, was beginning to think about the hereafter and wanted to know if I had any thoughts of the hereafter. Well, he was retiring, 65. I was much younger than that. <clears throat> but I thought he was going through some kind of crisis, and I tried to be pastoral, and I said, uh, well, yes, I, I do from time to time. Tell me about your experience. He said, well, I go out in the garage, and I wonder, what am I here after? <laughs> and I go down in the basement, and I wonder, what, and I should have known. I but it just means uh, so very much. Sweeney, Texas will also be one of the special memories I have in my lifetime because we accomplished so much in such a short time. If I gave any word of advice to, uh, to Quinn, it was that old management principle to either lead, follow, or get out of the way. And I told him my opinion is, in Sweeney, just get out of the way. <laughs> and run to keep up with them and you'll have the best time of your ministry and your life uh, together with them. Uh, and you will understand the meaning of the word thankful and thanksgiving again. I have an ancestor in my tree whose daughter uh, married a Richardson. We go back to a man by the name of William Bradford, who was the first uh, governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. He's also uh, mentioned uh, in a number of historical contexts, although never proven. He was the first to institute a service of thanksgiving. But my mother, uh, notwithstanding, uh, thought to ask us each time that we went to visit uh, a neighbor or a family member, what did you remember to say thank you? I want to remember to say thank you. I wish I could do it to each of you individually. Maybe over time, paths will cross again, and it will begin again with a thank you. Just as this has begun, and then uh, with a thank you. I thank my wife for her faithfulness, for her steadfastness. Those moments when I said, I said that? <laughs> or when I would say, you told me that? Was I there? No. Yes. Was I listening? No. <laughs> she has been uh, more than a partner. She has been in her own right. A Christian steward through her music, her compassion, her teaching ways, uh, master's degree in uh, uh, group building and uh, lead, training leadership. Now our daughter Amber is in an organization called Entrust in which she trains for uh, mission work and work in the church in many countries of the world. Son got his entrepreneurship for me. I don't have it anymore. 
It came from my grandfather, who uh, was a hardware salesman, and then became a, uh, well, he put up an L on the, the hardware store for furniture. And in Langford, South Dakota, population 740, they didn't have a funeral parlor and asked if they could use that as their funeral parlor, of course. And then they came back to him and said, you know, Artie, there is not a mortician in all of Marshall County. My grandfather got on a train to Minneapolis and two weeks later came back a certified mortician. And he put a stock tank in his garage for the formaldehyde for embalming purposes, but he also used it to, to uh, sanitize his coveralls. And my grandmother always made sure there was a new bar of lava soap there so he could scrub down pretty good and keep that smell out of the house. But then mother would tell the story of sitting down to another nice dinner, even after grandma came home from a long day. And pretty soon grandma would begin to chuckle. You never get formaldehyde washed off either with lava soap. The year was 1918. The youngest brother, Uncle Ernest, was coming home from the war. And with him came other American veterans who had what we would call today COVID. The Asian flu was coming as they were retiring back to the United States. Old Donald Langford went into uh, quarantine closed down the schoolhouse. My grandmother organized the ladies of the other three churches in town to bring three meals a day to this school schoolhouse quarantine. My grandfather served the people of Marshall County in a very entrepreneurial spirit. And I think uh, much of what I have learned, I've learned from my grandfather. And I would gladly pass it off to my son who's already passed me in understanding and, and uh, computer and so on and so on. His wisdom is amazing. He just knows. Scott and Amber are so proud and thankful for you. We've been through a lot together. And it's only natural that we would come back together. And so, Sweeney, we'll be back together one day. There will be a time and great rejoicing. But maybe until then, thank you will have to do unless it's in, uh, a visit in the meantime. Or you find your way to the Shenandoah Valley in Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, we're so grateful for so much, for so many of you. You really don't want to stop looking at the faces and recalling the stories. But my spirit will go with you as I take your spirit with me. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Praise God all creatures here below. Praise God above you, heavenly host. Praise Father, Son. <clears throat> and Holy Ghost. Amen. I wanted to, uh, want to also recognize a number of people here down from Rosenberg. This, this is the Bible class, adult class that we were in for several years until I got out of retirement and left them in the Lord. <laughs> they survived anyway, but here they are as good friends to say thank you and to say hello again and to reaffirm the Christian fellowship that bonds us all together. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve came. Mm -hmm. The twelve? The twelve. <laughs> thank you all.